Uh, you know when it's like New Year's Eve and the, ra uh, the raccoons like going off with a lot of colors, you always like looking for the colors. That's how I feel when I win. It's like an explosion of feelings. Cause like all the hard work is like one big emotion. So sometimes I cry, sometimes I just smile, sometimes like even more focus for the next stuff, you know, it depends, but I'm always very happy. Aida Shushu is black belt in Jiu-Jitsu. Even though she's only 24 years old, she has been in this field for a while. It was back in 2010. I was working in a nutrition store under the gym. So my teacher used to come down to buy like protein bars and stuff. And he asked me if I want to try jujitsu. And I was like, jujitsu, what is jujitsu? And I had like fake nails, extensions, a lot of makeup because I was like a, a big girl. So I was hiding up behind all those things. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a, a, a try. But I hated it in the beginning. It was like, oh, a sweaty boys on top of you. You know, it was like maybe just one, go one girl and a lot of boys. But after my first competition, like 40 days after I started, I was addicted. I couldn't stop. To dedicate her life to this sport, Shushu has to follow a tight routine. Usually I wake up, I eat breakfast, and then I go to class and doing like a technical training, and then I eat and rest, and then I do a conditional training, uh, like strengths, running and stuff, and then I go back home, I rest, I sleep, eat and then I go back to to train again in the night. What do you think is the most difficult thing about being a jiu-jitsu fighter? Definitely the, the part of being away from my friends and my family, you know, all the traveling, always being like a little bit scared of if you have enough money, you know. That's the hardest part and definitely the part of being away from your family. I'm always scared of losing my grandparents while I'm away because they're getting older, you know, and just by talking about my grandparents always make me like in tears because they are such a huge part of my life. Times like this almost made her quit. I told my, my professor like, hey, you know what, I think I'm going to quit. It's, it's too hard, you know, I don't feel happy anymore. So I went home to my mom and I was like crying and I said, mom, I think I'm going to quit. It's not like, maybe I'm not so good at it anymore, you know. And she was like, I have not put so much money, you didn't sacrifice and all those things and quit now. You're going to go all the way and we're going to be here for you, you know. And I was like, yeah, okay. And I think the hard time in purple, like the reason I didn't stop made me even stronger as a brown belt and even stronger as a black belt, you know. A lot of people still think that martial arts, it's a male world. How do you feel about it? I think it's getting like better and better every year, like more girls attended in the competition. There's more classes for girls, different classes. But also you see like it's a big difference, you know, the, the boys always get better uh, money prices. The boys always get better paid. You don't need to go for a mixed martial art and pretend like you're a boy, you know, because you, we are still girls and we are strong. We can still do our nails. We can still have pretty hair. We can color the hair or whatever, you know. It's important to still be a girl and not think you have to be a boy to do a mixed martial arts. Aida Shushu has already won this fight against prejudice. Now, she has bigger plans for herself. I'm a world champion in five years, maybe more than one time. Uh, and also a good role model, and I'm a girl, a woman, girls, younger than me can look up to and be like, I want to be like her, you know.